Pets, welcome back. It is Thursday, so we're doing another Nintendo game. Today we're going to look at Little Nemo Dream Pass. This is a fun little game that I had fond memories of back when it first came out. And you'll notice it's got a lot of elements um, similar to Mario games or Kirby or whatever. Same math. Uh, all these games are worse. But, let's find out this rise. Hey little boy, what are you doing? Oh, well. Uh, here, this place is too dangerous. For little boys. But, if you've got your mindset on staying here, I should tell you a secret. Many of the creatures here will give you a ride if you feed them candy. You can ride for as long as you like. Press the select to stop. Also, many doors are locked and you'll need to collect a key, different key for each lock in order to get through. By the way, my name is Flip. So, the controls are stupid simple. You have pause, jump, and chuck a hand. Now, like a member, member I said, I mentioned, it's kind of like Kirby. Snail. I said the snail is not right. Uh, I'll try. I love that. I know you're right. Ooh. Okay, come on, There we go. So they said if the frog was rideable, I'm not riding a frog, I'm actually in the frog. And you have, each animal has its own power. In this case, the frog can tire and the frog can swim. You need the frog because there's a key up here. And you can't get that key without the frog. You also have the ability to swim. trying to use it as a jumping pad. But, you know. So, the frog is like the best thing for you right now. I don't think you can use any of the other animals. But also, if you, when you're playing the game, you'll kind of find that it's really geared towards you exploring the world. To explore. Otherwise, you're not going to find everything you need. So, for example, I picked up two keys so far. And that's great. Now I have three keys. But each area. Okay, I want this. I want to be this guy. There he is. So, now we're the little mole dude. And the thing is, you, you, they say you ride them, but you're really not. You're climbing inside. Like, you're being eaten by them. And then you stick your head out. I mean, you take over their bones and stuff. That's really bad. Oh, what's over here? Okay, two bits. I die. No, apparently not. Apparently I need to be this lizard. Oh, this one you're actually riding. Ooh. I don't know if this lizard can do anything. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so he just takes you back up top. I don't think I'm really done. Jump over. Now, I just want to make sure because, like I said, I went to the left. But I couldn't go to the right. Okay, so. Oh, 
tareas. So you just have to learn which classes you need to be in which situations. There was a key up there. I'm not sure how to get there, but I do know I need the frog for it. So it's just a matter of finding... There we go. And there might be keys in this board that I have not found. It's totally possible. Usually when they give you a, a monster, you want them for... Oh, I lost all my lives. You want to change to that monster for some reason. It's like... So in this case, you want to change to this guy. Because we need to go around. And you can't jump up, so... I can't jump, so. You gotta remember which you're, which they can and can't do. Yeah, some can jump, some can swim, dig, fly, whatever. I don't think you can become the bee. I don't think that's one of the ones you can become. So let's we're okay there. six keys so I can leave. If you didn't have all six keys, then you'd have to go back and figure out what you missed. Wake up Nemo, how many times do I have to call you? Uh-oh. So mom's trying to wake us up. We're still asleep. New friend. Hi, Nemo. This is the magic flower. Guard. Uh, you know, my friend Oompy wants to meet you. He lives under the water. Okay. Oh, so I can swim. Oh my goodness! This monkey! This monkey stinks! Oh, there's a lot of men here. That's gonna be cool. Alright. So, 
this at the door. What if I can get in here? No, I can't. So in order to get into that tree, you need the monkey. monkey to get in the tray. That bee! That bee is just... It's nearly impossible. The controls are horrible. Okay, so... <laughs> this is probably gonna be a short, a short video. I guess I am horrible. And... I... I can't get this timing down. Just getting the timing down for the stupid feet. Ah, if it wasn't for the stupid snake, it was the bee. If it wasn't the bee, the snake. Oh my goodness. So let's see how this game handles. Uh, continue. As far as I left off, I did. So that's cool. That makes life easier. And I probably don't have to go through the story. I know. That's good. So really there's no loss. Keep doing game overs is just a screen. There is no loss. And that's good. Some games in this era there's like codes to continue. And they're really annoying. He just barely touched my foot. Oh my goodness. Ah, the same as frostbiting. Thing is though, it's probably not very long of a game. A lot of games in this era, they weren't really that long. You know, each board is a few minutes long. Ah, I can't not punch when he's on a wall. And if they actually gave us full health... Spawning enemies is probably the biggest problem. So they constantly respawn. That's probably the biggest issue. Okay. Oh, I must hit the the threat. Right, so change monkeys so you can get them out of the way. Oh, there we go. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> okay, that was a weapon. Um... I got chickies! There's another monster I'm supposed to use for that area. So I, uh, there's a little bee down there. He's a friendly flying insect.
that you can use in order to um, get down there safely. So, what we're gonna do is we're not, we don't need to go down there, so. Trying to get through this this board, but looks like Nemo's gonna beat my butt. But right, this is the last attempt, and we'll see what we can do with it. But I can't figure out how to get across. You can't go up the tree. So, let's go up the tree. Uh, okay. Oh, man. So, the lizard is at the top of the tree. Um... Why does it start me there? That's interesting. I, I didn't know this thing had save points. Or checkpoints. Apparently it does. Like anything else, it's just learning the patterns, how to make it work, what you're given. The track, this one. Is you're given enough health to get to the top of the tree. The trick is... not get stuck like I did. You have to just keep going. Pick up the health as you go, and then, um, get on the lizard. Come back down. And then go from there. And then put it down. So, like, here, which is just to go spread. Don't bother jumping, just take the hit. Take the hit. Get off that. Ah. Try not to get hit by the thing. Get on the lizard, and take the lizard. And then what we do is we just jump. 
Oh my goodness. <sighs> Bloody bugger. I saw it on the screen and started lagging. I know what I need to do where I need to go. That's the sad part. I really do. But getting the coordination down is the hard part. These games, it's all about learning the patterns. It's not about overwhelming it with force. You just have to learn where things spawn. And, um... How to manage with what you have. It's just managing what resources you got. You know how much health you gotta have. You know how much, um, Good night and have a good day. <laughs>